Welcome back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Com. Rich Walsh, if you need a roof, make sure you call Ireland Contracting. They're number one in Pittsburgh for a reason, because they're the best in the business. 1-800-NEW-ROOF is their number. They can do anything, not just roofs. They do windows. They do siding. They do gutters. They do anything that you need. 1-800-NEW-ROOF. Ireland Contracting. Now you can give me a call, 412-575-2600 on the Bordis and Bordis hotline. We're talking about the Steelers, and I'd like to know what you guys would do if you were the coach and you had this quarterback situation, this quarterback dilemma. It's, it's not a big problem, I don't think. I think it's a good problem to have. I mean, right now, if it's me, you know Ben Roethlisberger is your starting quarterback. You're going to live and die by Ben Roethlisberger. If he has to miss any time, then you're probably in trouble either way, no matter if you go to... Landry Jones, Mason Rudolph, or Josh Dobbs. So I would potentially go with the two young guys you wasted, not wasted, but you used third and fourth round picks on, Mason Rudolph and Josh Dobbs. Go with those two guys, and maybe you can get something for Landry Jones. You try to trade him or, or do something. I'm, I'm sure a, another team would pick him up in a heartbeat. Maybe you could get something for him. Plus, it would save you a little bit of money. Um, that's the route that I would go. I know they like Landry Jones, and you like Landry Jones as a comfort for the backup quarterback spot. Uh, but, hey, I'm going to go with the two young guys as my backup because if you get to the backup situation, you're in trouble. If Ben Roethlisberger is hurt and has a you know, season-ending injury or is missing four to six weeks, then this is potentially a problem, and you're not the team that you were with Ben Roethlisberger. If it happens to be a season-ending injury, you have Mason Rudolph, Josh Dobbs, and then you could reevaluate and maybe try to go out and get a veteran uh, to fill the gap. But I would go with the two young guys. That's, that's my opinion. I don't think the Steelers would do that. I think the Steelers are going to go, if everyone stays healthy, I think the Steelers would go Ben Roethlisberger, Landry Jones, Mason Rudolph, and then uh, Josh Dobbs would be the odd man out. But, hey, he's looked pretty good so far in the first two preseason games. He's trying to win a job. And uh, he thinks he's done the right thing. Uh, he's a good teammate. I don't think they keep four quarterbacks. And I don't know if a guy like Josh Dobbs, you'd be able to uh, be able to put him on a practice squad. No way Mason Rudolph. And, you know, from what Kevin Colbert said, Mason Rudolph, had, they had a first-round grade on him. There's no way they're cutting that guy. So I guess it's going to be between Dobbs and Landry Jones. But I like to keep the two young guys. All right, let's go out to the phone lines. we got Brad out in Pittsburgh. How you doing, Brad? Hey, man, how you doing today? Good. Thanks for calling, man. Uh, I know you want to talk about this quarterback situation, man, but I want to talk about these, uh, these, these, this tackling going on. I was the worst tackler I've ever seen in my hey, life. But, hey, Brad, it's a, it's a preseason game. I know, I know, yeah. I know it's preseason. But I want to ask you, do you think, you know, with this helmet to anywhere thing going on, do you think it's going to make the players not want to hit? Like, they're, they're, they're real sensitive right now. They don't hey, want to get out there and really hit. You know what I mean? Yeah, no question. I think it, I think it is going to be an issue. It's an issue so far. First of all, you don't want to get penalized. Second of all, you don't want to get fined. Exactly. And you don't want to get thrown out of a game. I mean, do you want to get fined if, you, if they told you not to do something at work? I mean, yeah, you're going to be a little bit hesitant. Um, so, basically, you know, so basically, these, these, these players are, are learning a new way to tackle, and it's going to hurt the whole team. Oh, or, you know what, Brad? Hit, you know or I mean? an old way of tackling. Most of these guys just, um, you know, they're, they're spear tackling anyway. So exactly. uh, most of these guys are going to have to go back to the way they were taught Back in Little League and high school, when you have to wrap up someone and tackle someone, you didn't see that too often in the last few years. But you look at a guy like Mike Mitchell. Let let, let me stop you real quick. Yeah. They might as well just put on some flags and play flag flag football, man. Hey, they're just trying to make the game safer. You know, I I don't. Yeah. I don't, I don't have a problem with what they're doing. I don't want to see guys get concussions and CTE. Right, um, right, you, you, right. They're trying to make the game safer. Um, yeah, it's going to be an adjustment. You know, that's probably why Mike Mitchell doesn't have a job. And you look like a guy like Nate Burry, the, the, the guy that they signed. He's probably not going to make the team because these guys are big hitters. And big hitting, well, they're not going to want – and they're going to, they're going to penalize these guys even if they think it's a hit or a helmet-to-helmet uh, and then worry about it later. And so guys are going to have to start wrapping up guys, and I think that's why you're seeing a lot of missed tackles because guys are so used to just diving and trying yeah, to spear guys. That's what I seen yesterday. Yeah, that's what that's, that's yeah. just what I seen yesterday. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate All the right. call, Brad. Let's go out to Mark out in Ambridge. How you doing, Mark? Hey, Rich. How you doing? Good. Thanks for calling. Hey, I gotta agree with you, man. We're the enigmas on this quarterback situation because I thought. Trade Landry Jones. He's always a backup. Maybe get a good linebacker. 
and go with the young kids, man. I mean, the way I look I mean, at a backup quarterback situation, if you're going to go to the backup, you're going to have issues. Hey, you could, you could prove me wrong with the Philadelphia Eagles last year, but um, if you don't have Ben Roethlisberger in there, I don't know. How, I think this team is going to be an 8-8 eight and eight team. I really do. I think Ben Rich, Roethlisberger ben is the goes, difference. If ben, if ben goes down, to me, it's all equal. So go with the young guys. Now, yeah. Can I make a lazy on Bell quick comment? I don't understand something. Last year, I didn't get here to like the fifth game. Why are we putting up with this again? Why are they paying a $14 million, come in first week, it'll be week five, then he's gone this year. Why, why did they put up with this? Can you explain this to me, why we didn't trade him or do something? Well, they really like him. I mean, this guy, is, this guy can help you win a Super Bowl, and I think, you know, having him with Ben Roethlisberger and Antonio Brown, they're willing to go one more year with it. I don't think you'll see it after this year unless they can somehow figure out a long-term but, deal. Rich, you agree with me, they're loaded on offense. Correct, no question they're loaded on offense. Look, I think they so underperformed the last couple years. you want to wait for a guy that's not going to be in gear to week five? Yeah, but you know and what? And then go on this. Hey, right? but here's the thing. You need him down the stretch. So if he's 100% down the stretch, then I, I would take it. Now, I mean, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. And I, I think it does rub some of the players and some of the coaches the wrong way. They won't come sure. out and publicly say it, that he's not here during camp. But it's a business. He's trying to stay healthy. But my problem with that is he could come into camp and stay healthy in camp, and then he's protected. He'll get his money. If he gets hurt in Florida, he's in trouble. He doesn't get the $14 million. Now, here's another thing that not yeah, a lot right. of people talk about. You know, the Steelers yeah. obviously love Le'Veon Bell, and he's the best running back in the NFL, and they want to keep but he's him. Gone, but right? here's the thing. He's gone. What I was told, there wasn't a lot of linebackers out there that they liked that they'd want to spend that money on and try to go with the okay. young guy. So, that you know, I, I, think, right. I think they're prepared – to go with the different running back next year. Okay. So they will either draft someone or they'll get someone else, but they're prepared for Le'Veon not being here next year, and they'll okay, have that right. money to use elsewhere. I agree with that. Okay, yeah. hey, thanks for the call, Richie. Th I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Right. I appreciate it. we got to take a break. Back with more of your phone calls. Maybe some of your tweets coming up next. Stay right there.